All right, so let's go through and I had a clear manifold here. So here are our pieces. These pieces right here will be on our sterile field. Um, we'll be utilizing them and connecting them, and I'll show you how to do that here shortly. You can go ahead and read all the different types of uh, parts to the system. All right, and here is what we have off of our sterile field here. This is what we're going to connect to, um, and we'll kind of go into that here in a second. So here's all, all our connections. We want to start off by connecting our syringe and our uh, tube to the patient. So you see how those two are connected. Next, you connect all these other pieces right here, including the connection to the transducer, to our waste bag and our um, heparinized saline, and our contrast uh, spike and tubing. So and that's how they're all connected um, in that sequence. This is how usually we hand off all, all of our uh, connections to the uh, circulator tech right here and they'll connect all of this stuff for us so we don't uh, mess up our sterility. All right, so once everything's spiked over there, I'm going to put this um, hypernized saline in a pressure bag. We're going to pump it up until we get uh, maximum uh, pumpage, I guess if that's a term, and that we have high um, pressure on the heparinized saline bag, and usually it's indicated by the green um, pressure indicator right there, uh, or it'll be at red depending on your system. All right, we'll hang those up, and next we have our waste bag, and we're just going to go ahead and throw that off as well just like that. All right, so before we begin uh, any of the clearance uh, procedures, we want to make sure that all our um, connections are tight. Usually when they come in the bag um, on our sterile field, uh, the connections are a little loose just so they can uh, sterilize it a lot more effectively. So check your connections. All right, first we're going to clear off our contrast line. So what we want to do is we want to turn that little stopper to the left and we want to um, kind of start clearing our contrast line and what we want to do is we want to clear all the air out of there and we want to kind of bleed out our uh, contrast okay so we want to do so effectively we want to waste money right so we want to save as much contrast as possible so once we get all the air out and we um, kind of separate the air and the contrast we try to give back as much contrast as possible uh, so we can save money at the same time we want to clear all the air out all that good stuff so we'll kind of uh, hit our syringe a little bit to make sure that our air kind of go and we'll push down until um, it's at its at it, um, it's so we'll keep continuing to push down until just a little bit of contrast left All right, and after that, after we get all our contrast, next we will uh, open up our waste and we'll throw in our uh, air and just a small amount of contrast, whatever's left, into there. All right, next we want to worry about clearing our pressure transducer. So how we do that is this is how we set our stopcocks, um, arrange our stopcocks, and you can see how the flow of fluid kind of goes. It goes out of this line over here, uh, makes its way around, and it goes towards the transducer line. And it keeps going up, up, and when we get to the transducer here, we want to cock up. So we get all the air um, coming out of the bottom of the transducer uh, before. So what, what that'll happen is it'll limit the air going through the transducer as we flush. So we want to get as much air out of there as possible uh, through the bottom stopcock right there. So once we do that, we'll stopcock and we'll open up this stopcock right here. And what that does is it puts the fluid going through the transducer right there. Uh, what we want to do is probably uh, you know, hit right before the transducer a little bit so we can uh, disconnect or dislodge any of those micro bubbles that are kind of hanging out and kind of push those. 
All right, and next, after that, we want to clear our syringe and our line to the patient. All right, so what we can do is we'll take our syringe and we'll turn our stopcocks appropriately so we can get fluid into it. We'll pull back all the way right there. And once we do, we'll turn our syringe upside down so that the bubbles go to the front and we can kind of purge our system of all air. And what we'll do is we'll give it up all to the waste bag right there. We'll push forward. Uh, hit it a little bit. Those bubbles forward position. Push, push. Okay, and once we do all that, once we get all the, the bubbles and stuff out and um, cleared, we'll probably have around six cc's of uh, heparinized saline and we'll push about three cc's through and what that should do is should clear the line to the patient and uh, putting fluid into that line and once we do that we'll set everything down and we'll turn our stopcocks to 45 degrees and what that does it kind of creates a little vacuum so there's no fluid movement and um, you know we can start uh, the case all right contrast line as much as possible and we want to kind of bleed it uh, into the syringe so that's what we'll do it so we'll just kind of draw back you see all those bubbles right there after injecting it on the line so what we can do is we can pick that up make all those bubbles go to the back back of the line bubbles all right save our contrast inject back boom waste the rest all right, next we will clear our transducer. So boom, we want to set those two things apart like that. So we want to create that circuit to go up. First, I want to so go, usually clear off that bottom part first. So if we clear off that bottom part first, we're going to be rid of most of the bubbles anyway. So, bubble, so this fluid going through the transducer is not going to be heavily bubbled. Boom, we shut it off right there, and that's clear. <coughs> and later on, we'll open it to air to calibrate. All right, next, I like to just put a little out, leave that line. Next, I'll clear my syringe. Take my handy dandy tool right here, move all those bubbles, kind of get them in the back there, kind of accumulate, move them up to the front, make sure that I have my waste inject into the waste at the same time. Okay, boom, and after the waste is already in, I'll flush forward to this line right here. Okay, and then after that, we are all prepped to go. Should be a bubble-free line right there. Now make sure when we have fluid and contrast and everything going through that we hit these points right here where the bubbles may accumulate. Okay, wherever the stopcocks are, we want to make sure that, or wherever the, what is it, bifurcations are, or whatever, we want to make sure that they're connected well before we clear and even after we clear.